good, y'all? It's your boy J Lifestyle. Appreciate you for tuning in the channel. Appreciate you for clicking on this video. Today, I hope you're having a great day so far. You know what I'm saying? I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And I hope everything works out for you. You dig? But anyways, about a couple weeks ago, I reacted to this guy. He went to his first black cookout. And I ain't gonna lie, the video was funny. I was dead laughing. I reacted to it. The video was lit. The video was good. But then someone had commented on my reaction. They're like, oh, you gotta react to part two. You gotta react to Mama T's Fresh Fry. So now here I am. I looked it up and I found that there's a part two. So we finna check this out. I was I was impressed with the first time. I told him he's invited to the cookout. He was invited. He passed the vibe check. So here we go, part two. Mama T's Fresh Fry. Let's see if he passes the vibe check again. Okay, I appreciate y'all being real patient with me and all. But here's what's been going on. One, I did not make Mama T's birthday. I'll tell you why. Because my dad decided to have a heart attack. Because about seven years ago, he decided that mayonnaise and Slim Jims was a food group. So, I mean, what are you going to do, fucking white people? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I did, however, get her a birthday present and sent her said birthday present. Now, apparently she liked it because I got the invite. Well, I got her one of them 25-gallon fish fryers, the one you hook up to the propane bottle and you can cook a jagillion fish at one time. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know where you're at, but down here in South Mississippi, we fry a lot of fish. We well, do two and ten. Memorial Day weekend, I got the call. I said, yeah, I'll be there. I'm down like four flats. So she, she invited me over and all that stuff. Well, I knew what I was getting into. So about a week before time for the, for the fish fry, I started making preparations. I said, I ain't, well, it's too damn hot in South Mississippi now to go over there in jeans and boots like I was last time. So I'm going to try to fit in. I'm going to go get me a pair of Jordans. All right. I called my buddy. I said, buddy, what kind of Jordans I need to wear I don't get laughed at? He said, just go get you a pair of uh, a number of Jordans. I said, all right, I'll run down there to, to Dix and get me a pair. He said, no, no, no. Boy, you can't go down there to Dix and get Jordans. I said, yeah, they sell them there. I didn't think he knew. I had no idea that there was a special kind of Jordan you had to get. See, what, apparently what they sell at Dix is Team Jordans, and you get your ass laughed straight out of the barbecue on that one. You got to go get numbered Jordans. Nothing but facts, nothing but facts. At this point when he's talking, I'm as lost as an illegal immigrant at a vote for Trump rally. I'm talking about I ain't got a shit and clue what the hell's going on. None, no, never happened. So I go on one of them websites that he sent me, fly something. Bought me a pair of Jordans. The only one that had my size, size 15. I had to get a size 15. Hang on. But, uh, anyway, so I show up there in my Jordans. And after they done, you know, they laughed at me and stuff like that, you know, I thought it'd be a good conversation piece. They had told me that I had committed one of the utmost crimes known to man. Apparently, when you get a pair of Jordans, you ain't supposed to walk normal. Okay, you ain't supposed to just walk like, increase your toe and stuff. You gotta walk. They put me in jump man jail is what they called it. Now, let me get my shoe off. Hang on. You gotta walk flat footed. You can't increase the J's. <laughs> See that right there? Got me a pair of jump 23's right there. There's a crease right here. Apparently, you're not supposed to walk normal when you have a pair of George. You're supposed to do walk on your heels like a March of the Penguins type deal in order to keep your shoes in pristine condition. But the price of them some bitches, I completely understand. That I digress on that. Anyway... I don't do the fish fry. So I say hey to everybody, and half of them remember me and all that type of stuff. Well, we get good and into it, and I want to help, but I don't want to piss nobody off, okay? So I asked Mom T, I said, Mom T, can I help with anything? She, she said, yeah, go go see the boy that's, that's frying the fish, see if you can help him. So I, I go over there, and he's letting me help. That's how I know I'm climbing the ladder with this family, because he's letting me help. And when I say help, I mean I got to hold the 10 little pan thing with the napkins in it for when he dumped the fish in and then somebody would come get that for me and take it to the food table because apparently they did not trust me to walk 25 feet from where I was standing to over there to the food table to put it on there anyway but I'm helping I'm acting like a fucking statue and I'm doing what a damn table could have done but that was one of the biggest pressures of me being a kid was carrying the food inside one of the main things that I was excited about about going back to the fish fry is I was going to win my damn money back in dice Okay, so I went into the bank, got me $100. Once. Y'all don't remember he lost all his money last time. I had a band around him and everything. I lost. Let me tell you something. I really need a, a course on that shit because this shit, 
They, they keep making up stuff. What the fuck is a side bet? There's a son bitch over here who's betting me. He ain't even rolling. He ain't even in the game. He just keep on telling me to re-up. So I'm putting money over there and here. Why didn't we just increase the minimum? Why didn't, well, I'm betting two places, and when I lose, I lose both of them, but I might win that one and look. Oh, I, I won like two. Anyway, I got the band that the hundred dollars came in left because that's all I got left. I'm gonna win my money back. Bet I, I'm coming with it. I'm gonna win it back. I don't know when, but I'm gonna get it back. Well, anyway, I remember high school niggas used to be shooting oh, dice in the bathroom. Thing I learned. Somebody could have told me the little red bottles of the fish fry down here in the south. That's not ketchup at a black fish fry. That's hot sauce. Somebody could have told me that there ain't a speck of ketchup nowhere, and there damn sure wasn't no tartar sauce. It was hot sauce or dry. That's all you got. Well, we, you know, we're getting, we getting on pretty well, pretty well. You know, I'm seeing everybody shaking hands and done lost my money, broke as hell again. And uh, one of them boys asked me, said, hey, Zach, come on, we finna dance. I blame y'all for this. Why did nobody tell me that I'm supposed to do two rounds of insanity and one round of P90X before I go get on the damn dance floor? <laughs> this is insane. Because once you get there, you don't fucking leave. You're just there. A week that, whoever had the damn iPod that was playing music had five songs back to back and not damn one of them was the boot scooting boogie. I'm flailing around out there. I don't have a shit and clue what, what's going on. I'm flailing around like a fresh caught catfish just hit the bottom of an aluminum boat in August. I'm talking about I ain't got no clue what's going on. It's hot. I'm fat. I got a bunch of shit going on. I am sweating more than a fresh fuck fox in a damn forest fire at this point. And then, uh, and what the fuck is a wobble? Like, y'all didn't tell me. Yeah, about yeah. This. I read all the comments and nobody say nothing about this. And apparently when little John screamed, Make your knees touch your elbow. His aunt almost broke my hip with her badonka donk. And you can't get off because they just, I'm in the middle of the shit, just kind of white man in it, just back and forth, just wiggling my hips. I don't know what's going on. I did know the electric slide. That was a good one. After that, lost. No idea what the hell was going on. No, no. I did, however, learn this. I learned that there's a big difference between a barbecue and a fish fry down here. Because when we went to the barbecue, apparently everybody was on their best behavior. And a fish fry, just just anything goes. I mean, just anything goes. I mean, at the, at the barbecue, the kids were acting right and had manners and stuff. But this fish fry, they don't give a fuck what you're doing. And I had no idea that a flip-flop could be used as a deadly weapon. No the idea. The deadliest. There was more little kids spanked with Jordan slides at this fish fry than anything I've ever seen. There ain't been that many baby boys... Booty Spanks' says Neverland Ranch was in full operation. Uh, uh, uh. I am still confused as hell. I feel like I had a beat on this. I mean, I was leading it and everything. I ain't, I ain't shit an ounce. Nothing. Sooner or later, I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'm gonna quit being a laughing stock of these damn fish fries and barbecues. Shit. First, that's it. <laughs> Alright, I like that. That was dope. You know, I like the first one. It's funny. You know what I'm saying? That was clean. That was clean. I like that. It's refreshing to see some stuff like that. You know, it's funny. He's a really good storyteller. Like, the way his stuff flows is really good. He's a really good storyteller. So, you know, shout out to that. Um, when you talk about the Jordan slides, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of felt that. But, you know what I'm saying? We start getting whoopings because we learned very fast as kids. The adults never, they were so busy playing dominoes, drinking, doing their own thing. They was too busy to be paying attention to us. Only time people was getting in trouble and getting spanked was when somebody started crying or somebody went and told. So we'd be just playing outside in the backyard. They'd be inside and then just like, as long as we just governed ourselves and handled everything ourselves, no one really got in trouble. You know what I'm talking about? Especially we used to go on these uh, like family trips or whatever. And like, you know what I'm saying? We just started governing ourselves and then we stopped getting in trouble. We stopped getting whooping. So I was dope. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes. You know what I'm saying? The whole don't snitch, stop snitching thing. That goes back to the sandbox with me and my family. But, you know, shout out to Zach Rushy, Mama T's Fish Fry. He went back, and it was dope. Did he pass the vibe check? Yes, he passes the vibe check. He gets reinvited. Anyways, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new. Let's hit 700 subs. Let's hit 700 subs. Run it up. Send this to a friend. Subscribe right now. Subscribe. Subscribe. If you're a returning visitor, you already know we get down over here. J Lifestyle 2020.
come out, man.